Hi, yeah, you're right. So, guys, how many of you tuned in to my live uh, interview with the lovely Jacqueline Josser? Oh, thank you, Steve. Hi, Ben. Hi, Kirsty. Hi, Keely. I'm doing good, thanks, Soph. How are you, my love? Hi, Sylvia. Hi, Lily Lou. Love the interview. Thank you very much. How did everyone find the interview? I'm doing good, thank Catherine. Yourself? Oh, mate. Oh, thank you so much, Kirsty Gray. Hi, Vicky Jones. Hi, J Danielle Gill. My day's been really good, thank you, Summer. Um, I feel it's just been a really uh, productive and positive day. Uh, I admitted last night that I was feeling a little bit... Not all day, I just went from the afternoon, I just felt a little bit... Sh I don't even know, not the word strange, I'm not sure. Uh, just wasn't feeling the best, um, but didn't know why. But today's just been a great day. Uh, I think, if I'm honest, a lot of the reality of it hit me yesterday. Um, I love I'm still just trying to sort this hair out. <laughs> There's no sorting this hair out. But um, 10 days in plus without blow drying it and having to style it. So I'm not going to start now. Um, yeah, I think the reality hit me yesterday that... Yeah, I don't know, it's just a funny one. But anyway, yesterday was yesterday, today's today, and today was amazing. So we started off, we did our dance, uh, like a dance a fun thing, me and Seth, which was really fun to do. Got the old endorphins going in the morning, which was great. Um, And then, what did we do? And me and Matt spent some... So I did a little bit of uh, we come back to mine with my parents and uh, then I went and just grabbed a couple of little bits of food for mine and Matt's dinner. Before I cooked our dinner though I did uh, some baking with Seth over on which most of our content is uh, over on at isolation with the nation. So we did like a, a bake, a bake along there, which was scones, which kind of few, a few ingredients <laughs> weren't measured right. Well, I say weren't measured right, actually, I completely doubled the liquid, which you can imagine isn't good when you're trying to make a dough and you have to knead it. All I will say is if you, if you fancy a laugh, um, I will actually post some clips over onto this one as well. And there is going to be some, well, obviously the live's still up for 24 hours over on At Isolation with the Nation. Um, and uh, and then a great interview this evening, like, as I say, the lovely Jack Josser. And, uh, yeah, just a really, really nice, really nice day. And now me and Saf are going to do our little uh, evening live that we do. Generally, it's often from bed when I'm in here. Get Bobby's own chat show. How good would that be? Oh, thanks, Tom. What would I call my chat show? What would you like me to call it? Seth is going to be coming over here shortly. Shout out to Bonnie, care worker. You're an angel, you're amazing. As is all the NHS. It's my birthday on my own. It's hit me big time. Anxiety. Starting to hit the way. Well, firstly, Jade, I want to wish you a very happy birthday. Um, and look on the bright side, Jade. Not on your own. You've got us. 
there's a whole there's a whole group of people in here for, to to talk to and to interact with so never feel alone and that the only way is Bobby can you imagine I don't know how Terry would feel about me taking that the only way is part um, but I love the idea of it um, but yeah don't feel alone on your birthday you've got all of us here and we're here for you Happy birthday, everyone whose birthday is it. Can we all say happy birthday to Jade, babe? So, happy birthday, Jade. Look at all these comments, Jade. Everyone's saying happy birthday. You're definitely not on your own, my love. All Saf's here. Seth. I've been here for ages. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you. I've just been wishing Jade a happy birthday. Can you say happy birthday, Jade? I'll do better than that. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday to, to you. you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday dear you, Jade. Jade. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Hip, hip. Hooray. Hooray. I wish I had uh, something to ching ching against for you, but I'm I'm ching chinging you with my my chamomile too, and I hope that's put a little bit more of a smile on your face, Jade. Happy birthday, sweetheart. How are you feeling, Bob? The uh, mate, the interview was amazing with Jack. How did you find it? Did you like it? I loved it. I am a fangirl, so I was sitting back and loving every minute. My my favourite show is EastEnders, since I was about four years old. Just absolutely loved it. She's a great girl, Jack, honestly. She really lovely, is. Lovely, genuine girl. So lovely of her. To Deserves my... all of her, the good she gets, you can tell. Good egg. Very um, good. Lovely of her to donate her time to do this and... Um, yeah, I've, I've got a couple of other friends I've reached out to, um, building up. But obviously, we want to keep this going for as long as possible. So, really, really going to start trying to compile a nice list of celebrities to speak to every evening. Like I say, I've got a few of my friends lined up. I'm not revealing no names because half the fun is finding out on the day, I think. Yeah, it's the build-up, isn't it? It's the excitement. Who's it going to be? But guys, I can't stress enough, all of you, you must be following at isolation with the nation. It's the place to be. Do you know what? I'm going to make it one step easy for you. I'm actually going to put in the comments the handle. I've just put the emoji. So if you can see me with the blue heart, guys. Problem is, them little cups don't last with it. I need another herbal tea, I do. So, how is everyone today? How's isolation been? Have you been watching um, the account and all the fun we've been having? How did the sun turn out? We've put a post up now. They come out lovely. Unbelievable, in fact. I might have one. Do it. I'm gonna get one. I've had a bit of food. Oh, You guys have made isolation so much better. Thank you so much for saying that, Tom. That really is the the whole premise of um of why we're doing the isolation with the nation. Well, could your dimples be any cuter? Laugh out loud. Hello from Virginia. Hello, Virginia. 
Yeah, he loved watching you too, especially when Bob said he doesn't know what to do next. Hello, I'm back. Hello from the Amsterdam. That's my outcome, guys. Stunning. So after all of that panic, oh, oh God, I'm in a bit of trouble here. After all of that panic, it was bloody worth it. What's mm. the comments, Seth? My comments have gone a bit funny. You've gone completely off the screen. It is, sorry. These are to die for. Was it amazing? Mm. I ain't a bad little teacher, am I? <laughs> you ain't. Many talents, Bob. Man of many talents. Mm. <laughs> Crazy to think we are living through history right now. Yeah, we are. Do you know what Hello, neighbour. The other day, there will be, in about 100 years, a class sat in a history lesson talking yeah. about what we are living right now. We are history, which if I think about it for too long, boggles my mind. Although it's our present, this will be history. And people will be writing this for their GCSEs. Yeah. Think about that. 2020, the year people, the world come to stand and have to stay indoors. Hi, Alison. Chocolate brownies next, they're saying, Bob. We could do a chocolate brownie, absolutely. Scones are stunning. Ah, oh, thanks, Tom. Pep, I want to grab a quick cup of tea. Can I leave you here for a sec? Mm. Hello, Amy. Oh, it looks stunning there. That's a lovely message, Shanti. Hi, Danny. Hello, Nanny Nash. Hello, Victoria from Liverpool. Evening, Sherry. Yes, yeah, send it, Georgia. I'd love to see it. Hello, Clubby. You all right? Um, Antonia. My day. My day was fab today. Hi, Vicky. Hi, Cheryl. Uh, hope you didn't have making tomorrow. Does it make you laugh? Hi, Kerry. Hi, Lisa. Um... Yeah, it's the wind down. It is to answer your question. So, I think last night it sort of hit us a bit that the reality of it, shall I say? But um, hello, Hannah. But today was a positive day. We started the day with exercise, which I think is always key, even if it's a walk. That dance dummy wonders. Um, and then we done the baking. I went to Tesco which um, I don't know if any of you have had this, but it was the first time I'd gone to a big Tesco because there's a Tesco Express near me. Um, so I've tried to not, obviously, been going out, so it's just getting, grabbing essentials in there. But today I needed a big shop because I'd been indoors for 11 days. Anyway, when I um, went there, there was a queue of about 100 people outside because they've, capped how many they let in which is a good thing I think anyway because there was a lot more surprise inside but imagine a big Tesco the car park the queue was to the back of the car park and they'd made the line out of trolleys trolleys to keep people in line with tape so yeah that's my little story anyway successful shop shopping trip managed to get low roll uh 
got got some dinners for sort of a week, so that's good. Yeah, you have to do the same at Morrison's. Oh, Sainsbury's was the same. So that, and then obviously we done the baking, which was absolutely hysterical. Hello, Chanel. Uh, oh, Cheryl, it's mad in the morning, but you just have to get in the queue. I was going to put it on the story, actually, just for an insight for people. Why, Chloe? What happened? Please protect yourself and stay safe. Stay, stay self-isolating because um, it's so contagious. This is the thing with it. Hello, Chloe. Happy birthday, darling. Oh my god, new pick, new kittens, Nicola. Oh, I said the other day I wanted a kitten. What colour are they? <laughs> banana muffins. I love banana loaf with Nutella. Let's wish Chloe a happy birthday, everyone. On isolation with the nation, Georgia. Guys, if, if you are... Oh, no. Four ragdoll, two grey, two grey. My favourite cats. Where do you... What area are you from? Bobby's just gone to get a tea. We'll be back shortly, guys. Yeah, warm banana loaf. Oh my god. That's terrible, Chloe. Please stay well. And the angels are on your side. Did you close that or did you close it for the regression? Hope you're well and did you smell shut or did you close for the No, it was the window. But it didn't smell, I just closed. Shout out to Mr. Dupe, hello. Oh, they're my favourite cats. You should check out my YouTube channel. Some great videos on there to inspire, inspire others. We will do. E. Dot what a uh, terrible joke. Yeah, tea, tea and cake, it's the best nighttime snack, I think. Comes hand in hand. Last night was amazing for our brilliant NHS. Um, I'd like to do that every week. I wonder if they'll carry on doing it. Hey, Stacey. Bob's just gone to get a tea, guys. He'll be back just a short leg. So what what would you like to see tomorrow? Is there anything that you'd like to get involved with or see us doing? Did you just love the live with Jack? It was amazing, wasn't it? That's all going to be on uh, Bobby's live shortly and we'll put it on isolation with the nation. Hello, Grace. Sarah, that's a lovely message. Please... Direct message us because we love sharing the messages and saving them. I'm Barry Island um, from Gavin and Stacey, or is that my imagination? They should do it every Thursday. Hi, Lauren. Hi, Sam. Oh, hey, what's the, I thought you meant that you were on a dog walk with a staff because you said hi, staff. 
It's all right. Ibiz. 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 What have I missed? I'd love to see you and Bobby address more about coping mental health issues, especially with isolation issues. My youngest son deals with schizophrenia. It breaks my heart. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I think one day I will be the guest and let Bobby interview me on mental health. And I think we'll have a better, deeper, more uh, serious insight conversation because there's a time and place for that. And any questions you want to ask us, put into the direct messages. And I'd be happy to share it all because, yeah, I've had a bit of a journey with it myself. You'd be happy to do that, Bob? Absolutely. Bobby's good with all of that. And he's a pro. And we need a show just dedicated to Bobby. Going live with everyone every week. <laughs> Gobby with Bobby, I think it should be called. It's a great name. Gobby with Bobby, yeah. Great name. Hello, they, want, they want to say more Gobby with Bobby. Oh, are you in Spain? I lived in Spain for a while. How is Spain? They're on lockdown still, aren't they? Yeah, she's walking her dog. Bobby, you miss me saying my cats have had four kittens. Mm. Congratulations. Say hi to Darcy Jane, Bob. Hi, Darcy Jane. Hello, Darcy. Thank you, Seth and Bobby. We love you guys here in the US. More Gobby with Bobby. Uh, that most... That most certainly... I'm trying to multitask. That can most certainly be arranged. I will be doing more Gobby with Bobby. Excuse me, don't mind me eating whilst I'm... What are you eating, Bob? That's the last li little bit left over of my dinner. I managed to grab a bit before I interview Jack. Right. Because I run behind it. By the time we've done the cake thing... Yeah. Managed to make some bits up. And now I'm just kind of picking at my leftover bits. Does anyone ever do that with food before we've got left? Yeah. Guess what I had for dinner, Bob? What did you have? Hi, my burger. Oh, I love doing homemade burgers. It's stunning. Did your dad make it for you? Yeah, he made it for me. I had it in a a, a pit, like a half pit of thing. It's oh. with, with salad and mayo and tomato sauce because I have to have both. Oh God, yeah, hundred percent. Love mayo. Obsessed with ketchup. Can't bear salad cream. Weird, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not massive on salad cream. No. Matt loves the salad cream. Yeah, I f it's a acquired taste. Sometimes I just fancy, sometimes I don't. Pizza in the morning after a drunken night out. Yeah. I love that. Oh, his dimples are dull. Love them. Oh, thank you. Do you know, the really weird thing about dimples is, A, I never knew what they was called. My nan always used to say, she used to grab them and squeeze my dimples. I'm sure your dimples. But I always <laughs> thought they was called dumplings. Weren't until I got to about the age of 12 at school. Someone said something about dumplings, and I was like, Bobby, that's food, that's not them. So that, that's a bit embarrassing. <laughs> at 12 years, to 12 years old, I think I've got two dumplings on my face. But thank you, I don't mind them now. I hate you doing all younger. South Spain is a night where we can't go out for a walk, so I did a dance class, dance class today. Oh, it's lovely that you've joined in, but I can't imagine not being able to go to a walk, uh, go for a walk. I mean, this is this is we we are lucky to have the walk still because a lot of places haven't. But I don't know if we'll lose that eventually in the next coming weeks if we go on complete lockdown. Um, but my thing in Spain was to walk next to the beach along the beach. It was so therapeutic. Dumplings, oh, that's funny. Just finished my shift with the NHS and Utah cheering me up. Becky, mm -hmm. shout out to the NHS, darling, because you are doing an amazing job. Thank and you, Becky. It's a privilege that me and Bobby give you a bit of a smile and some cheer 
after a long day at work because I can't imagine what you're going through. No. And that, that really is one of the most kindest things someone can say after doing a job like that for all them hours, that we can put a smile on your face with everything you're doing. It's just incredible. So thank you. I was saying, Bob, that they should do the NHS clap every week while we're in this. Mm. Hello, Yasmin. Lots of love. I work at Tesco. They only recently just helped with stocking people. Some people are still being very selfish. Yeah, I was seeing people getting turned down today with products and saying, like, can they put them back in that? Yeah, people grabbing various amounts of things. You've got, you've got to learn to share, guys, because I know I keep saying it, but some people, we've got to think, think a lot some of the elderly that don't drive I mean they can't generalise because some people still drive in their 90s some people don't they're getting buses to supermarkets say say they can only carry one bag like let them fill a bag up with some bits they can't stockpile they've got to get on and off buses and then walk from the bus stop home let them have a can of beans let them have a toilet roll like it's all very well you putting 15 rolls into a trolley and taking it home in your car yeah. Hi, Lady Lee. You guys should have your own show. <laughs> we have. We've got one here. Duty men are at Tesco's here enjoying two days holiday for my daughter's belt birthday. Well and truly earned it this week. Well done. I'll take my hat off to you. Have a good Managed rest. I get, get a pasta so a well done pink. It's, no, it's you impossible to get pasta here. Yeah. I got a pack of linguine. You do? Yeah. Happy birthday, summer for tomorrow. If you join tomorrow, we wish we will wish you happy birthday. Happy birthday. So the weirdest thing is, obviously, um, come on tomorrow and we'll sing you happy birthday. I don't know if it's just me because of what we're going through at the minute, but I now wonder slash worry if the song Happy Birthday will ever mean the same again, because to me, Happy Birthday, I sing twice in my head silently whilst washing my hands. So when yeah. I hear Happy Birthday, I'm always going to think of washing my hands now. Yeah. And do you know another thing? My dad insisted it was Wednesday for about 20 minutes tonight. Isn't it Friday? Yeah. But he's lost so track of days. He yeah. went, no. I went, no, I went, yeah, it's Wednesday, it's Friday. He went, no, it's Wednesday. I went, I'll stop being silly. Yeah, I've lost all track because, Joe, the thing is as well, days haven't really got any meaning at the minute. No, they're just rolling. Yeah, we have got a guest tomorrow night, guys. Another great one. Another great guest. Another great uh, Gobby with Bobby coming up. I'm not so going to tell you who it is. I will release the information tomorrow. It all depends on what time they can do. I'm not going to even say what uh, what gender they are. All under but whatever time they can do, don't worry if you miss it again because we always save we always save our lives. So they're there for 24 hours. This is why it's crucial that you're all following at isolation for uh, isolation with the nation guys um just following from what bobby's saying last night bobby said if you are following put a one in the comments if you're not following put a two <laughs> at isolation with the nation where you'll see all the our content what we're doing daily to get by in isolation how we're helping support others get by in isolation and also our guest celebs every night and um we have influencers slash um advocates should i say people people that are going to bring positivity and uh, like i.e the dancing today we're going to have a sound crystal therapy that most of you wouldn't have experienced but that would be amazing like a meditation um we may get a makeup artists to do some uh, live makeup tutorials. We've got a lot in store, but please follow the account because that's where it's all happening. Yeah, that is where, and you are going to miss a lot of content on a real wheel if you're not following at isolation with the nation because it's almost like 
almost like being at a retreat in terms of, although it's our online virtual hub, um, it's like being at a retreat where every day there's something going on. So if like, it could say 10 o'clock, um, or say so generally I start off the lives 8 o'clock in the morning going for a walk. So 8 o'clock generally is the walk. Hi, Sabrina. <laughs> then you'd have something mid-morning. Today that was dancing. And then there'll be an activity after lunch, which is bake, it was baking today. We did baking the other day. Um, Hello, think, Charlotte, darling. During them things, we will have, like Sav said, we're going to have... Um, I don't want to say too much about what we're doing until we're doing, because it, it, we want it to be coming fresh from ours. Um, and we'll let you know as and when it is happening. If we put, if, if we put all our cards on the table... Uh, we've got to keep it a little bit, a little bit close to our chest. <laughs> close to our chest, yeah. <laughs> so, name one thing in the comments that you have been grateful for today or this week. We're on day, well, me and Bobby are on day eleven of self isolation, but if you've been working up until now or for the for the people that are not frontline services, um, you would be on day five of self isolation. Uh, what has bring positivity to your week? What are you grateful for? What have you reflected on? We've been friends for about. We've known each other for eight years, seven mm -hmm. eight years. Um, obviously, we've been on the show together for a year and a half now, um, since I joined, but. We've got a special bond. Yeah, we have really got a bond. Yeah, we've known each other yet. Yeah, we've must have known yet. Yeah. So I've, I've done Terry nine. I've known you about seven. Um, I used to see quite a lot of you because we had like just we've got like, mutual you know, friends. Yeah. Um. And then yeah, our bonds just got closer and closer over the years. I'd say. So how long have you been on the show now? A year and a half, Seth. Year and a half, yeah. Year and a half, so that's been on the I show. Um, series. Uh, trying to think, was you on the show when we went away? What time, Bob? Do you remember when we um met at Southend Airport when you had a nightmare with the old suitcase luggage allowance? Yeah, I was just on the show then in the August. Yeah, so. So that was New Year we spent out there, which was last New Year. Um, but I suppose even when I come to my bar when you were filming and I come and stayed with you. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so we've got, yeah. And that was about five years ago, I think, now. Yeah. Got a Um, So things that people have been grateful for. Uh, I'm just going to read some of them out. Let me just find them. The sunshine. Yeah. It's been bright blue skies, hasn't it, for weeks. Unusual for March. The last two haven't been all that. Uh, grateful for life. Grateful for seeing you guys. Ah, oh, um, my family. I think we're all reflecting on that at the minute for helping elderly people get their shopping. That's a lovely thing to do. Um, your lives. I'm very grateful for your lives. Life and health. Grateful for the both of you. Oh, thank you so much. I'm grateful for my children always. I'm thankful, grateful and blessed to be a at home with my husband who is a cancer survivor. We are well and, we are well and happy together for 36 years. That is amazing. And I hope he continues to be well. Uh, grateful for my daughter with me at this hard time. Um, if you've missed our dancing, you can watch it on... Isolation with the nation and live still. So if you just go onto the icon, you can just press on the photo of me and Bobby, profile picture, and it comes up the live and story. Um, Everything only lasts 24 hours. So if you do miss anything, you always have to check it a few times a day because after 24 hours, they get deleted. Although we're trying to get into the process of also then adding things onto our main page so people can so see beautiful. it. I've been grateful for you and Bobby making me smile every day by doing this. It's amazing. Thank you for doing this. 
Ah, oh, you're a sweetie, Georgia. Getting my medicines delivered from a stranger from Belfast. Also shopping for toilet roll. Mm. <laughs> my glass of Bailey's. Cheers. Cheers to that. I'm personally grateful, because I think we should do it as well, Seth, as we do every evening. I'm personally grateful that our community, in three days, is nearly at 6,000 followers. That we've got the most, hands down, I'm putting it out there, amazing community followers and, well, it goes far to say, almost friends now. I feel like we've probably got this little bond now. We're a little family, our Insta family. Um, I'm grateful for for you guys at home, for watching our lives, for encouraging us and supporting us to, to do more and wanting more and interacting with us. And I'm incredibly grateful for the amazing guests we have who take time out of their day to support what they know to be an amazing cause and um, truly grateful today, especially truly grateful for Jack for jumping on and um, giving us so much time of her evening when she's got a couple of kiddies and uh, she didn't have to do that, do you know what I mean? But that just proves what a lovely girl she is. And um, yeah, if I think about it too much, it gets a bit emotional. We have got a lovely, lovely community here and a great group of people. We have, Bob. Um, likewise, I'm very grateful for life. I'm grateful for um, my family, my friends, and just being able to connect with people via FaceTime even. That's, a, that's been a very big help. Um, and for the community isolation with the nation i mean it didn't even start as a fault it was on the the, the action started before the fault so we was doing the lives and then it just fell into place and i think sometimes in life things really come to play what's meant to be is meant to be i definitely live by that yeah and this was just meant to be it felt right it feels right and it's just doing an amazing job for myself and bobby guys as much as you are enjoying this we are loving it and i can tell you now if i was day 11 of self-isolation about this i would probably have a dressing gown hood up crying to bobby on facetime saying i need to be back at work bob what are we gonna do i feel lonely i feel isolated um I don't know when to speak to, like, I'm too in my own head. So, yeah, I'm very, very grateful. And I promise you, this is one thing me and Bobby will do. We will keep this going after we're out of this, do I say it, a nightmare. Um, we will keep this going and we will all meet you one day. Yeah, we Our need to organise a big meet and a group somewhere, somehow. We somewhere, will somehow. Sort. We'll do a split one if we have to, if there's people too far. But we will meet and greet and we will sit down with a McDonald's, with Chinese, with an Indian, with a pizza, with a roast dinner, something. And we will chew this over. Because I'm talking to people that have been egging me on to baking, they've been encouraging me to dance, they've been asking if we're all right. And do you um, know what, community? We'll always have 2020. Yeah, this is our time, guys. This is our time. And uh, maybe we'll write a book about it one day. You never know. 2020, yeah. isolation. Yeah, the 2020 isolation. club. Yeah, the 2020 club, there's... There's something, I need to document this. It feels very close to me that I can't go into next year thinking, that was surreal, that was a moment. We got locked in, we spoke to a load of people. I have to have this documented because one day I'll look back and show my children this. And I have to because it's something, yeah. it's very, very, what's the word? It's just, yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit unexplainable to be honest. It's just there and we need to... 
we need to take this all in while we can and just stick together. Mm. And I'm grateful for the NHS. I will always add them in. We are both grateful for the NHS. Amazing work. Boris Johnson, I'm grateful for. He's got corona, but I think he's done the best he can in this situation. I think he's a very strong leader. And I... I'm happy that he's not took the walk away straight away because people for their mental health do need to have a bit of fresh air. All right, it may be taken away because people may be breaking the rules and not complying, but he's took us in consideration as much as he can. Mm. Absolutely love what you're doing. Thank you, Charlie. Just The stones went amazing, done. guys. If you head over to our page, you'll see the outcome on the Keep post. Safe, guys. Good night and God bless. Night, Claire. Thank you for uh, tuning in, hon. Um, we love you all. And Boris has been amazing. Yeah, he has. Um, Two bags, James. So the situation with the cup... Um, I tend to keep the old bag in. So if I I had one, uh, like I had one not that long ago, just before we started this, and it went down so well, it was a bit lukewarming, so I didn't fully appreciate it. So I just whacked a fresh bag in and thought if there was any flavour left in the old one, I was going to keep that in just to double up. It's only a chamomile tea bag, so the the more strong it is, it's just meant to be quite relaxing and to help you sleep. Enough. Jesse, if you've just tuned in for the first time, please follow at Isolation with the Nation and you'll catch up. I'm going to post it again in the comments. And just to add one thing, you're asking me, um, am I Labour, am I Tory? Da, 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 da. I don't actually vote. And I'm going to be dead honest about that because I don't believe in some things from one party to another. So I'm just completely neutral. Um, judge me if you want, but that's how I'll stay. Um, stay safe. Uh, oh, will you say hi to Matt? Night, Ron. Ron. Thanks, guys, for everything. Sorry, do I comment too much? Sorry if I do, but I love you both. No, Sam Bird, we love you. We've got a lot of time for you. And what you're doing is amazing. Carry on. No way. Uh, can we just quickly just say that there's no way that anyone could ever possibly comment too much here? No, no, please, you you comment 50 times, please. It doesn't matter at all. It's never too much. Good night, Vic. What did Lionel Richie say? Never too much, never too much. Is that Lionel Richie? Oh, my love. Oh, no, it's all my love. Never too much, never too much, never too... And it all my love, that song. Yeah, but don't you say never too love. much. And a thousand kisses from you is not on to And I just don't want to stop. Never too much, never too much. You can be my friend. First thing you get to pass the lockdown. Oh, God. I really don't know. I'm just taking day by day. I've not thought of that because I can't really see it at the minute. But hopefully we'll be back at work and we'll be on your screens, baby. Oh, so it's Luther Van Dross, not Lionel Richie. Thanks oh, okay. for the video too, oh, sorry. No, Luther. Sorry. I'm so glad I'm a doctor last night. It was amazing. Well done. Would you and Saf ever come to Cyprus? Yeah, I love Cyprus. Uh, Nizzy, Nizzy Beach or Nizzy Bay, is it? Paco? I think I've been. The water was stunning. I've uh... I've stayed at Prataris. Yeah. Near, Just down the road, yeah. Down the road from like outside of Ionapa. Yeah, Ionapa. I've been on Ionapa. But the most amazing beach my hotel was on. It was like a really incredible hotel on this big beach. It was just beautiful. That was years ago. Jim Jams, thank you for a lovely message. Um, yeah, we'll do a karaoke one evening if you want. That'd be a lot. Yeah, got that down on our list, actually, of things to do, a karaoke. That'd be funny. The only way is Essex. It sure is. Um, if you've got any messages for us, guys, head over to the direct messages. We're going to go through them in the morning. Send us anything that you uh, want to see, what you're enjoying, if you need to chat about anything. Um, just the air. 
Hey, oh, you're at the best hey, place man. for a wedding. Whereabouts in Essex? Do you know where I could recommend? Uh, Lee's Priory. It's the most beautiful location. It's actually the building I was at um, when me and Matt officially got together. Um, it's the location we was filming at for the Christmas special. It's the most incredible wedding venue. It's in Essex. It's stunning. And um, yeah, we stayed there, I think, for about three days filming the Christmas special. And uh, yeah, really well, nice. It gets lovely. Nice dinners there as well. It was, I think, I don't know if I'm spelling it right, but it's something like. L E E S P R. It's in Z, is it not an A? Or is it an S? I think it's that. Lee's Pro with a Z, yeah. I think it's something like that. Tell them Bobby sent you. Oh, I know a name. I know a name now. They are actually on Instagram, but I can't get their handle up here. But yeah, drop them a DM and say Bobby recommended that this is a good wedding place, and they'll uh, they'll get back to you and send you some um, some bits and bobs. I'm sure they'll send you some literature. Yes, yeah, Serend yeah. Pity So Acrylic Art. Um, send us a DM. You're all welcome to DM Isolation with the Nation, and we'll go through them. Are you guys um, doing questions tonight? We've got time to do a couple. Q and A. Yeah, we won't do a full blowing one, but someone said, "Are we doing questions tonight?" No, we could All answer right, a couple. Five questions for Bobby and five questions for me. Go ahead. I'll I'll ask Bobby these, and he can ask mine. So just put for Bob or Seth. And this could be a little taster of what our actual Q and A will be like. It would be a Q and A this weekend, whether it's tomorrow or Sunday. I've not I've not got the diary on me. Because believe it or not, we are quite. Organised with. Shout out to Jojo and Grace. Bobby, number one. Are you there, Bob? I am. Sorry, hun. Just. Uh... Number one. How did you get over your fear of flying? I'll be really honest with you. Uh, to say get over it. The answer is I haven't, um, but it's definitely, do you know what it is? I have to tell myself in my head, I love a holiday and um, I like going away and the nature of my job, I generally, thankfully and luckily, work in various countries. Um, so I have to get on planes for work. So. I just, it's hard, it's a real hard one, it's, it's really hard to, to say, how to, how to, this thing helps me massively, it also helps me with my anxiety. Back flowers, rescue remedy. I've got a bottle by my bed, that really helps me, it just helps calm me down. But yeah, I, I just have to sit on there, I'm never going to love flying, but it's got a lot more bearable. Um, I think the best way is to take things that try and distract your mind, books, yeah. music. I do, um, I put headphones in, I will I'll read a load of magazines. If you direct message us who asked that question, I can recommend you to a mindset therapist. He's got a, a guy called Robert Hissey, and he is amazing at flight phobia. I'm going to see him again. I'm going to not see him again, but I'm due to see him. or We're in talks to meet up because he does so much and... Um, yeah, he's meant to be incredible. DM us over on that isolation with the nation. And we can pass his details to you. So do you um, want to do my five, Seth, and then I'll do yours? Yeah, let me just have a look. Um, what is your favourite holiday place, Bob? Favourite holiday place? Oh, again, always a hard one because there's so many places I've been in the world. But I do love Mykonos. Mm. I love Mykonos, I love LA, I love um, Mykonos and LA, I'm going to say. I've never done LA, I've always wanted to. We should go. Yeah, after this we will. Um, next question. Bobby, would you ever go in, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here? See, the thing about the jungle is, I love the thought of overcoming my fears and phobias and 
having that experience and after speaking to Jack tonight, I, I really see how much you bond with them people. You become a family. Like you're with them for the best part of three and a half, four weeks. Um, that side of the thing, that side of the show, I love. But I do have a lot of fears and phobias. And I just know if, if I was stuck with a snake or any of, or a couple of my other fears and phobias, I, I, I don't know. I just don't think I'd be very good with a 14-foot anaconda wrapped around my neck. But no, I don't Never you, say never. I would, I'd love to go on there to overcome fears. But I would absolutely, excuse my language, shit myself. <laughs> That's been free. Let me just have a look. Uh, if you could be isolated with three people, past or present, who would it be? I would like to be isolated with Chris Jenner, George Michael. And Adele. <laughs> um, one more question, guys, for Bobby. <sighs> one more question for Bobby, the last one. There's a lot, there's a lot of, I'm having to do a lot of scrolling here. <laughs> we'll do a sing song tomorrow, guys. I'm all sung out. <laughs> I want a song. Bobby, have you been to Cardiff? Cardiff? Wales. I, well, I've been to Wales to film Towie years ago, but I don't know, I don't know if it was Cardiff. Um, but I have been to Wales, but I'm not sure if it was Cardiff, sorry. Right, Go guys, on. five questions for staff, please. There's a lot above, but if you can't scroll, guys, say again. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. I have a 12 foot snake, Bob. I can help you out over your fear if you want. He's called te Teardrop. <laughs> I bet there'll be fucking plenty of tears dropping if he, if he come near me, I'll tell you. Saf, if you weren't on Tally, what other reality programme would you do? What, a reality series? Um, or can it be a programme? I think it's a series. Oh, God, that's an odd one. Do you know what, guys? I loved Absolutely Ascot when it come. Uh, it did entertain me a lot, but obviously it's gone. So being on there, I would be gone. So I'd just like to stick with Tao. <laughs> Beth, do you have any tattoos? Maybe where you can't see. <laughs> <laughs> no, no tattoos, guys. Never been fond of them on women, really, but love them on men. I wouldn't know what to get for myself. I think it'd have to be so meaningful. Um, Seth, what are you most looking forward to doing when you come off a of lockdown? Going back to work, getting in the towery spirit again, seeing all of you lot um, and having a right laugh, bit of drama. Just back to work, to be honest, guys. Is Kate Ferdinand one of your best friends? Yes, she is. We've been friends since we were 12 years old. Um, and, yeah, she's one of my very close friends. And finally, Seth, Indian or Chinese? Oh, depends on my mood. I like a Chinese. I like, I like a Chinese, um, but I, when I'm in the mood for an Indian, yeah, it happens. It's a lot. It goes down. Yeah, it goes it's a down. tough one. Oh, guys, well, thank you. What is your work? Um, 
other than Tawi, Tawi is my job. Um, we will explain more about maybe our other careers that we come from before because there's been questions about Bobby and his hairdressing on here as well. So maybe we'll chat about that another day. Um, but I think we're going to call it a night now, guys. Yeah, absolutely. Send all our love and get some shut eyes so we can be on best form tomorrow. Thank you so much, guys, for an amazing day, for supporting us. And please, 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 I'm going to say it again. Can you please all go over before you go to bed, as soon as you leave this chat, just type in at isolation with the nation and give it a little follow, please. Join our community and be the first to know when lives are going up, when there's cook-alongs, bake-alongs, more celebrity interviews, there's going to be plenty more gobby with Bobby. As I say, I've got a good little list of mates I've got who already are agreeing to come on. Um, and also, got... if, you, um, if you want to uh, get involved with the giveaway, just follow the instructions on the giveaway post and tag three friends. But also... To... Also, tell your friends about the page, tag them, and we've got more giveaways coming up over the next couple of weeks and a lot more exciting things to come, guys. This is just the beginning. Absolutely. Over and out. And as well as putting um, it into your WhatsApp groups, please all just uh, do us a shout-out on on Instagram Story. stories. and. Let anyone know who you know might be suffering, who's living alone, who's feeling a little bit down, lonely, or just in general wants cheering up, which is pretty much everyone who's in self-isolation because it can be as boring as boring can be sometimes on your own, just trying to pass the time. Even when you're not on your own, it's nice to just have some content. So it's, a, it's escapism to sit and watch two people that are just talking about things, talking about life, letting you know what they're going through, trying to bake scones and absolutely royally messing it right up. I mean, that's money can't buy that kind of content. So I would absolutely, I would be hitting that follow button and telling the world and his dog so. So until tomorrow, good night. God bless. Take care, sleep tight and stay safe, guys. Bye.